this may seem a bit of an odd subject, but it was funny. I was um, a friend of mine, Gordon's, just done his first video on YouTube regarding soap for razors. Funny enough, um, but the Philippines has a phenomenal amount of fake and naff razors. Um, if you ask in the expat community, they'll tell you how bad the razors are because you know when you get an old razor and it's sort of like <sighs> it's like that when they're brand new. Um, that's why I stick these in a the ballot buying box. So if you are going to the Philippines, I recommend trying to get a year supply in your bag um, purely because after a while you've got <sighs> and also with the, the climate things seem to grow a bit faster you know I mean even in Spain I notice I have to cut my nails probably twice as much as I well four times as much as I do in the UK um, but this may seem a little bit funny to actually say well razors really but the fact is when you haven't got it you will know what I'm talking about because you'll be like these razors are naff I hate them where can I get a decent razor from and there's a lot of fakes out there as well um, so, strongly advise, take your razors with you. you, at least you know what you're getting. Because um, the quality control and stuff isn't there in the Philippines. That's why you can throw fakes in with the originals, people don't even notice. When I went to the Canon shop, now, bearing in mind, Canon like all their stuff with their lovely labels on it. Um, they actually sell lens caps, which are generic and, I would say, cheap. But... Normally Canon won't let you mix their stuff in the same shop. They're a bit fussy like that. But that's that. this is a branded store, by the way, not a camera shop, a Canon shop. Um, and it's very unusual for them to put other people's stuff in their own store. In the Philippines, they do, though. But then again, McDonald's. McDonald's is a franchise, all of it, from uh, one person. You have to read up on it because I'm not sure on the ins and outs of it, but it's basically a monopoly controlled by one individual. Um, it's got about 150 plus stores, so it's a bit confusing when people say company stores and that because in the UK you have comp company stores and you have franchise stores. In the Philippines, it seems like it's just one guy that controls everything. <laughs> Um, if you don't know the difference, a franchisee may actually have 12 stores, one store, three stores. And the rest are actually company, which is 100% McDonald's owned, run, etc. Two differences from knowledge, inside knowledge. A franchisee will generally run the store down. They won't change things like the emergency lights and things because there's no profit in it. That's why when a lot of stores go back to the uh, main store, the, the main company, McDonald's itself, they will actually end up investing a lot of money to bring the standard back up because they'll find fire extinguishers out of date, electric uh, gas boilers um, shot, the uh, decors run into the ground for the last 46 years, etc. Um, that's normal. I shouldn't really be talking about it, but I'm not a McDonald's employee and haven't worked for them. I just know these things. All right, thanks for watching.